On Wednesday, July 5th, vacuum vessel sector module number six was removed from the tokamak pit for repair. At 6 a.m., a final briefing session was held to make sure that all details had been reviewed and that nothing had been left to chance. With little space to maneuver, the lift operation would proceed slowly, controlled by dozens of sensors and cameras. All the incoming data would be centralized and analyzed by the teams that moved their temporary offices in the tokamak port cell. Before starting the big lift, the in-pit teams checked instrument readiness for the last time. At 7 a.m., the green light was given. The cranes began to raise the 1,350-ton load under the strict supervision of the teams. It took approximately three hours to lift the sector module completely out of the assembly pit. Spotters, positioned in strategic locations, followed the heavy load every inch of the way. Once overhead, the sector module had to be rotated 45 degrees and positioned with millimeter level accuracy to pass over the wall. Vertical clearance did not exceed 20 centimeters. The operators had to continue rotating and aligning the sector module so that it could be inserted in the standing vacuum vessel assembly tool with millimeter precision. Finally, operators were ready to greenlight the last step of the operation, lowering the load into the tool. This 22 meter tall tool will brace the sector module as it is disassembled for component repair. After seven hours, the sector module was a few centimeters from its supports. Metrology would confirm the following day that it could indeed land.